Hi guys, once again teacher Andy. So today we're going to start with, I'm sorry, okay you need 12, 12 saving food. So remember this is our real world in the book, yes? Now we're going to start by checking some words that you might find difficult, okay, might. Some of you might find it easy, some of you might find it difficult. So let's start with the words. The first one is waste. So what is waste? All of this is waste, okay? This is regular waste. All of our garbage, it's a waste, okay? Now, this is food waste. This is the one we're going to be talking about in the real world today. Now, food waste alone causes 10% of greenhouse gases. So we need to be very careful about not doing or creating a lot of waste. So this is waste, remember, okay, all of the things we do no longer use, no longer need, yes, we turn them into waste. Now charity, we have already seen the word charity, but, charity, but if you don't uh, remember or if you didn't uh, think it was clear, so what is charity? Remember charity is to donate, yes, you can put money for a charity event, okay, a charity event mostly is for somebody who needs it and can't get it, okay? There are a lot of events for charity. Nearby. Okay, so what is nearby? Let's see. It's easy to find nearby places around you. Nearby means, for example, this building is nearby this building. This building is far from this one. Far, okay? But nearby is this one is nearby this one. Yes? It means that it's close to you, okay? If you can go walking and it's very close, very nearby, okay? So nearby, it means it's close, okay? Like remember, for example, this, ex this building is nearby this building, okay? Dairy, we're going to see the word dairy. So what is dairy? Dairy is everything in this picture. All of this is dairy, yes? The milk, the cheese, the cream, okay? All of this is dairy. Okay, I hope this was helpful. So then now we go to our books, please. And we're going to check the real world saving food. Yes, page 122 from your books, guys, please. And uh, remember, we have content notes and another content note. So remember these ones, you need to read them with me, okay? While I read, you need to be reading with me. Saving food. Okay, so we're going to start over here. Trisman Stewart is a National Geographic explorer. He hopes to reduce the amount of food waste around the world. He's trying to get supermarkets, farms, and shops to give their unsold food to charity. Okay, so here are two words that we check. Waste and charity, okay? Let's read the content note together. Remember, I'm going to be reading, but you need to read with me, okay? Tristram Stewart, a native of London, was instrumental in showing the world. Through his book, Waste, Uncovering the Global Food Scandal, how much food is wasted around the world? He became interested in the subject when he was 15 years old after he started feeding some animals with food that wasn't eaten in the school cafeteria and in nearby companies. He realized that the global scale was huge and that the effect went beyond food to the millions of hungry people and the forestation. Okay, so what is he trying to do, guys? Remember, he is trying to tell the world that the, the waste we have might be the food for somebody else, okay? That's why I was telling you that we were going to use waste food, okay? Because in this one, we're talking about the waste from our food or the restaurants or the supermarkets, okay? Now, we're going to do the exercise. Listen, circle the correct answers, okay? Ready, guys? Unit 12, track 2-48. Food wastage is a problem in many countries. One third of food in the world is wasted before it even reaches people's plates. 
Supermarkets and grocery stores often have a high beauty standard for the food they sell. They reject fruit or vegetables that don't look nice enough. This food ends up being wasted because no one buys or eats it, even though it's okay to eat. Instead of letting unwanted food go to waste, Tristram Stewart thinks that there are better things we can do with it, such as giving it to hungry people. Stewart started a project called Feeding the Five Thousand. He goes with volunteers to food businesses and farms to collect extra food that these places don't want. Together. The volunteers make five thousand delicious lunches with all the food they collect. They then give out these lunches to people to raise awareness. Feeding the five thousand was a success in many cities such as London, Paris, and Sydney. Stewart is planning to hold more events in more cities in the future. So, let's check the exercise. I hope you made it, and I hope it wasn't fast for you. Okay. So we heard one third of the food produced is or is not eaten. Is not eaten. Okay. Yes. So what happened to that food? It becomes waste food. Okay. To the food we don't eat, it's waste food. Number two, supermarkets waste food because they only sell food that comes from farms or look nice. Looks nice, very good. Okay, and this one is, I think, obvious. If you go to the supermarket and you see a very nice apple and you see another apple that is not nice, you choose the one that's nice. That's why supermarkets have a lot of waste food, okay? Number three, volunteers go to food businesses and farms to collect their extra food or record their food waste. Collect their extra food, okay? That's how he is trying to feed a lot of people. Number four, feeding the 5,000 reduces food waste by giving the food to hungry people or other countries. Hungry people, okay? People that live on the street and they don't have anything to eat, okay? So, all of that waste food is being used with people that are hungry. Very good, guys. Okay. Now, remember, we're going to check, okay, these two, letter B, and critical thinking, you need to do it in your notebook, okay? Remember, in your notebook, because we cannot do it right now in, uh, by talking, okay? So, look at the diagram, this diagram over here, yeah? It shows the amount of food produced in the United States. So, the food produced is the whole circle, okay? The whole circle creates a 100%, okay? Now, it is the amount of food produced in the United States. Now, it says, what is wasted the most? So, from this one, yes, what is wasted the most? This is the waste, okay? Only this part. So, which one is wasted the most, okay? You need to check the numbers and write what is wasted most and you're going to write which one of these. What do you think it is? Now, why do you think it is wasted the most, the one you chose? Okay, in your notebooks, remember. Now, critical thinking also in your notebook, please, you're going to write, does food wastage also happen at home? So, let's think about this. Do you think... In your house, you have food wastage. What do you think? In your house, okay? Try to uh, imagine, try to go back, try to remember uh, the last days and think about, did you wasted food? You, your mom, your dad, your grandmother, with whomever you live, do you create food wastage? And the second question, how does food get wasted, okay, how, how, como, how does food get wasted, okay, you're going to explain in your notebooks also that one, okay, now let's go straight to your next page, okay, first we're going to check that do you know, okay, do you know, we can feed 
how many? 30 million, 300 million, or 3 billion people by saving one third of the food we produce around the world. Okay, not just in one city, but around the world. Remember, content note, you need to read with me, okay? So it says, just 25% of the food that is wasted in the United States, the United Kingdom and Europe could feed the world's 1 billion hungry people. Equally important, a great deal of water is used to grow the food that isn't eaten and that water could supply the needs of 9 billion people. Okay, so if they're telling us, let's pay attention, it says that just the 25%, okay, of where? United States, the United Kingdom, and Europe, okay? They could feed 1 billion, okay? So, over here, they're asking us if we say one-third of the food we produce around the world, so a complete world, what do you think? 30 million, 300 million, or 3 billion? 3 billion is the correct answer, okay? Let's mark 3 billion. Now, pronunciation. Reduction going to. Listen and repeat. Remember, it's very important that you repeat, okay, guys? You need to be repeating in this one. Unit 12, track 2-49. 1. Are you going to raise money for the school fair? Yes, I'm going to sell cookies. Two. Is he going to sign up for the school fair? No, he isn't. I hope you repeat it, okay? Remember, it's very important to repeat. Now, Exercise B, listen, complete the sentences, okay? You need to complete these sentences while listening to... Track 2-50. 1. We're gonna have a school dance next week. 2. Are you gonna donate some money? The DJ is going to play some awesome music. Four. Joe and Maria are going to bake cookies and cupcakes. Five. Who's going to make posters for the dance? So let's check the Okay, we are a school dance next week. What did you listen to? Going to have very good. We're going to have a school dance next week. Are you some money? Are you going to donate some money? Number three, the DJ is going to play some awesome music. Joe and Marie are going to bake cookies and cupcakes and last one who's going to make posters for the dance very good remember going to is future actions okay very good now let's check the communication plan a school charity sale work in a group of three remember we're not going to be able to work in a group of three with your classmates but you can do it with some of your members family your family members, I'm sorry, with some of your family members. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to complete the chart, okay? You're going to complete the chart. There is already student A, yes? Student B, uh, chart on page 133, and student C, chart on page 134. So you just need to complete this, okay? You're going to complete this chart over here in the book, okay? And uh, you already checked one presentation with teacher Silvia, and right now, we're going to go straight with uh, teacher Rudy to check your homeworks, okay? Very good, guys. Nice class. See you next week 
and uh, see you next week, guys.